Hello everyone. How are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. A 73 years old lady is hit by a car. She suffers a complex fracture of the distal aspect of her uterus with associated injury to the radial nerve. Which of the following movement will be most impaired as a result? So in this question, the key point here is that the patient suffer from complex fracture and it occurs the distal aspect of the humerus and there is a radial nerve injury. So this point is very very important radial nerve injury and this radial nerve injury occurs in the distal aspect of the humerus because fracture occurs at the distal aspect of the humerus. So we have to find out the which function will be impaired that means which function will be lost here the options options are elbow extension elbow flexion shoulder abduction wrist extension and none of the above so we have to find out one of the option uh, this will be impaired as a result of radial nerve injury and distal aspect of the humerus we know the function of the radial nerve is beast b e a s t that means first b for brachioradialis e for extensor all good extensor in case of uh, arm forearm and uh, wrist area and hand area then a for abductor policies longus and anconius s for supinator and t for triceps so it is now clear that the brachioradialis function also be lost the extensor group of muscle function will be lost uh, a for abductor Policies longus also lost, then supine S for supinator, supination also be lost, and T for triceps, tricep function will be lost. But here one point notes that it is the distal point of the humerus. So if any muscle get receives it is nerve supply proximal to this injured point, so this muscle will be spared. So here we can see this is the point where the fracture occurs. that means the distal aspect of the humerus so if any muscle gets supply from this area this area this area that will not be affected so here we can see this picture this picture is enough to describe here the fracture occurs at distal end of the humerus just like there and if any muscle gets a uh, supply from proximal here we can see this is the lateral head of the triceps and here we can see some other we can know the triceps has three head one is lateral one is medial and another one is long so and we can see this muscle gets supply proximal here 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 so they get proximally from the injured area so the function of the triceps muscle will be present and we know that the function of the triceps muscle is extension of the elbow so extension of the elbow will not be impaired here we can see the radial nerve here the radial nerve is passing in the lower triangular area just below the tennis major muscle and it supplies the all extensor group of the muscle in the arm forearm and hand and wrist area so the elbow flexion will not be affected and uh, all the muscle which supplies the proximal to this line that means distal aspect of the humerus will not be affected such as this here this group of muscle here this group of muscle here this group of muscle will not be affected so here we can see the elbow extension elbow extension not impaired elbow flexion flexion not a function of the radial nerve so it is not true shoulder abduction the shoulder is located more and more proximal so not possible so wrist extension it is possible because it is distal to the elbow joint so our answer the wrist extension and this extension will be impaired due to fracture in the distal aspect of the humerus and followed by radial nerve injury so our final answer is wrist extension and this wrist extension will be lost in this condition thank you all